Good evening and welcome to Matt's Nightmares, Faith Chapter 2. Uh, it's been a long time coming. I played this in the Flophouse, I want to say like almost two years ago, and I quite liked it. Um, link in the description for the previous episode on Faith. And no, it's not the George Michael or the much improved Limp Bizkit version of Faith. It's more of like a religious, like almost exorcist style, like Atari game. I mean, you'll you'll see what I mean. All right, well, that's starting off great. You can tell I'm a priest because of the little priest dot. I don't know what the priest dot does. And um, that, that's that's the game. I can hold out my, my crossfix and crossify whatever I like. And, and oh, so that, that, that's, it's amazing that this game can have reflections where a lot of AAA games do not. So I've confirmed that I'm not a demon myself because if I shine the... The, the the crossify into into there nothing happens so I'm not a demon uh, basically you just go around different parts of of well, I'm, I'm going by the first game and sh shine the cross on things to see if it's haunted or not that's kind of how you investigate with the, with the power of Christ and such I should probably go back and get all this shit. <laughs> Uh, Father Garcia, you are hereby instructed to release Michael Davies from your custody and return him to his home immediately. Mr. and Mrs. Davies have already been contacted by our office. A representative of the church, Boo, is currently en route to their home to discuss compensation in return for their discretion. You will meet our representative there and accompany him back to Rome, Cardinal Grifford. If I was like Cardinal Griffin, just Peter would just start laughing. So... Uh, why I say boo is because the, the church always gets messed up and gets it wrong in stories like this. Like, no, there's super big demons everywhere. And and the church is like Rome, the Vatican specifically are like, nah, man, that shit's, that's Constantine shit. That's not real. They're like, yeah, it's totally real. And they're like, oh, uh, space, a button. Okay, good. So can I get that crossify? It just looks like there's a Bible just sleeping in my bed. I mean, I'm assuming this is my bed. Can we go to my closet, maybe? So, yeah, that, that's about it for controls. I can't open a door or whatever. I think things just open or, like, just react to you uh, when you get near them. But I can't seemingly do anything to this bed, so let's move on. I don't know what this is. No idea what this is even supposed to... Oh! One day... I don't know why it doesn't even matter. So, it was just, I'd like to think it would say day one, but I mean, let's look at the others, and it'll be like day two. We can see how gross this kid gets. Yeah, it's two weeks. You know, that's I kind of I kind of for there a little bit. Three months. Yeah, that's what happens when you play too much Fortnite. I guess Fortnite's a fine game. I don't, I don't even mind it that much. It's just that I really suck and don't understand it. And that's all that Hatomi plays now. So I don't know if we'll ever get another Matt vs. Hatomi video. It's, that's, the, that's the real Matt's nightmare. <laughs> so, so let's continue on. I guess this is going downstairs? Right. So yeah. That's, that's the kid I, um, I'm helping. Gotta help him. Yeah. No way. No way. Ooh. So this is how you attack. And those are the voices. That was the voice of our hero character. Ah! No, 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 that's bad. Oh God. I'm just gonna feel my way around. He's somewhere. Oh God, it's gonna kill me. So if you haven't seen any of Faith before, it's like one hit kills for everything. Well, uh, for you. You get killed very easily in faith. Alright, there's there's stuff... There is stuff obstructing. I guess I'll just go back. Ah! Oh! 
Okay. So, this, this is going to be a throwdown, a showdown. Hell no, I can't slow down. We're going to go now. Yeah, it's, it's mostly this game does really neat things with silence. And yeah, this really lo-fi Atari aesthetic. Huh. Weird that the blood went away. I mean, I'm assuming that's blood. Demon juice? I don't know. I guess there's nothing else here. So, yeah, this is kind of interesting because it's almost like this is the end of Faith Chapter 1 because you're kind of basically stuck in a house and you're going from room to room chasing down a demon. And now we're starting up with that in Chapter 2. So very cool, actually, in that regard. All right. Huh. Hmm. I think he went to the left. <laughs> no. So I, no I noticed that one of the photos is gone, the one that was for three months, which is a little odd. I'm still I'm still hammering this button. You never know. Okay. Looks like Rod or Todd Flanders. <laughs> I get to clothe the leper. Anything changed over here? Oh there is. That that fucking closet's open. Weird. That's not good. Uh, sure. I, I got it. No idea what I picked up. But I picked it up, and that's what's important. Ah! <laughs> okay, then. All right. Make it, can we get a snack before we go? Trail mix? The checks mix? Whatever. Whatever. A mix? Can we please get that? Uh. Okay. Well, I have no idea what's happened here. I, I can't be watching this guy every second. Why is my crossfix? Oh. Ew. <laughs> No idea what's Ooh, that's a good promo. You shall drink the wrath of the Almighty. Why my guy just dance out of the scene? That was weird. It's 2 a.m. Hmm. Huh. Weird. I feel like I'm another character now. So I'd be going back in the past a little bit, because this is how the first game kind of starts off with. Being in a forest, trying to, to find the house that we want to go into. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm down to see where, where this goes. This might just actually be me continuing, and I just left the house, but... Uh, I don't know, that could have been a demon deer. I have no idea. Demons? Deers? They have the same first letter in their name? Coincidence? No. Oh. God, remember the first season of Hannibal? Uh, how it was like killer of the week type stuff and it was always some gruesome thing like this? So yeah, this is a lot like the first game in, in this sense. We have to kind of exercise, jazzercise, zumbanize uh, things out of any gruesome scenes that we find. Uh, the current investigation being conducted at Gallup Cemetery by the State of Connecticut Historical Society, this, these are the tales of the Midnight Society, has been postponed until further notice. In the interim, we ask the public to avoid the cemetery grounds, the surrounding woods, any wildlife, and any unidentified persons roaming the area. Thank you for your patience. Everyone's like, can you arrest the wildlife or the gravestones or these unknown people? And they're like, nah, we can't do that. But but we will tell you that you shouldn't mess around with that shit. Alright, well, here's the cemetery. Am I a person's wandering around? Ah! Why? Why has it gotta be so loud? Sorry, I'm just going and just like fe feathering this button so much. That's how you do it. It's at the Ocarina of Time Cemetery. Dompe is gonna be walking around. Can I read this? No. No. 
You never know. You never know if a ghost is lying on this. Oh, there you go. Get the fuck out. Da na na na. Uh, I shook hands with the devil. I looked him in the eye. He looked like a long lost friend. Aw, that's nice. I love that Satan, de that, uh, Satan Twitter account. The one that's like, kinda wholesome. But so like, chaotic evil, maybe? There's a lot to unpack here. That says save right there. But I'm not, I don't know about the statue up there. That's gonna jump out at me. Just slam my cross into his dick. That God has to, has to really invoke some power for you to be able to do that. Dearest disciple, verily not everyone who says Lucifer, Lucifer shall inherit his kingdom. You must first conjure his demon. You must then serve his demon. Uh, you must then walk among the children of men as his good movie. Thus shall you receive the blessing of the unspeakable. Row, row, fight the power. Return to the save family tomb whenever you are in need of rest. So we actually have a save. Gary. <laughs> okay, thanks. Let's, let's, let's save. Enter the spirit house. Wait, what? Oh. Uh. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This doesn't seem like such a safe spot. I do not feel safe. Who drew a dick on that guy? What's with this glory hole? Oh, it's another thing. Uh. Okay. I guess that was a save. I feel a bit safer. No, I don't. What am I talking about? Are you guys still going to look creepy? Oh, uh, uh, that one kind of scared me. Jeez, Tommy was so. All right. Fuck this. <laughs> Immediately, you know. I love there's two random tombstones up there, just like some some wooden crosses. Like that's all that that family needs. They didn't have a lot of money. All right. Well. So so th this is interesting. Now we're in like a I'm, I'm gonna guess kind of like the maze and like the main place we're gonna be for most of this. I'm assuming because it was like a fucking labyrinth uh, of the forest for most of it. It was kind of a little hard to navigate. At first, you had to get used to it. Get some more creepy notes. Look at that! Look at that metal ass Grim Reaper holding a cross. Um, it is with great sad men that the Sterling community announces the passing of Cindy Marie Martin. Ah, oh, poor Cindy! 38 and Robert Kimball Martin. Detective John Kimball, 40, devoted husband and wife and beloved parents. Their lives tragically came to an end on September 21st due to the incident in their home. Bob was a training advisor to the United States Navy and Cindy was a CPA and more recently a state uh, home mother. They were married March 12, 1969 in Voluntown. Though not particularly religious, they taught their children to be kind, generous, and involved in the community. That's all you need. A public closed casket memorial, closed casket, that's not good, will be held at Tillin, Tillin Hast Funeral Home at 10 a.m. Thursday. Burial services will proceed shortly thereafter. Bob and Cindy are survived by their daughter, Amy, and twin boys, Nate and Jason. Okay. What about you? Are you anything? I feel like you are strongly something. Whatever. Let's pick up this errant pixel over here. It is nothing, apparently. I thought for sure it was something. Alright, so there was a weird skull I saw up here. I'm very excited to pick it up. That. I think that might be a gimmick or something. What are you? Oh, I should do this to you. Oh! I thought I thought these were like little red arrows and it would like change something about the, the pathway I'm using, but... Okay! He's facing a different way. Fuck you, man. Is that gonna jump at me? Fuck 
like you. I guess he can't be super evil if he's not reacting to, to my crossify, my neutral B. All right. Ah! Oh God, are you fucking serious? Yeah, you stay down there, yeah. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay. Okay. One of these is haunted. I'm ah! oh. Mortis. Damn. And fuck these games. They're scary. <laughs> Alright, so I'm over here. Not too bad. But let's try that again. There is some definite trial and error to the first game, certainly, so I'm not surprised that that happened. Ugh. Where's it gonna come from? Okay. Now where? Okay. I don't think I can attack him there, he's too fast. Yeah! Power of Christ compels you, so on and so forth. Okay, it's still very tense during those. You literally have one button this game, but it makes the most of it. Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant, not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow, it made those visits a little more bearable. Oh, well, that's nice. That that seemed like a creepy smile. You can, you can, uh, believe that I, I was a little concerned for that smile. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. I knew that smile was no good. Yesterday I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Huh. Interesting, I guess. All right, so I guess that concludes this little pathway. So, there, there's a, let's save. How about that? I have a bad feeling about this save. Why is the guy gone? What happened to what happened to Gary? I don't know. Why can I not save? I want to save. No. Oh. Okay. Well, whatever. You guys know how the save works? No. All right. All right. Let's let's try the left. Mm, I feel these JoJo poses might be uh, important at some point. I have to do a pose off. God, why am I thinking about Lex Luger versus Buck? Buff Bagwell's pose off. God, I'm fucking such an idiot. <laughs> All right, nothing here. We're safe, bros. Let's go down. Ah, oh, Jesus! Don't make a Silent Hill reference. Don't make a Silent Hill reference. Ah! <laughs> oh, that's scary. <laughs> Where are you? What? Ah! <laughs> no, it's bad. I hate this. No! Uh, uh, hit it. I'm doing very little damage. There, that was some damage, I think. Uh, too scary. There, got him. Yeah. 
Cause Boston makes me feel good. All right, so let's read what this is about. Uh, losing grandpa was the hardest thing I ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of the, her friends. They asked me, would you like to see your grandfather again? I ran the fuck out of there should be what you should say. I missed him so much, I was willing to try anything. That, my, that night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. God damn, I saw my grandfather in there, only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have to... I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. None of that is good. There's not a single encouraging word in that statement. All the heads are gone. Fantastic. I'm loving this. There's not much here, which is good. Go, go, go here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Lost wood shit. All right, let's go up. God damn it, let's go down. All right, fuck that. I hate that place, not going there again. So let me see if it's true that every time I I uh, crossify one of those guys, one of these people in the save tomb, save tomb, is gone. Yep, so there's one left. He's probably gonna be a tough bastard. Yeah, and these these have gone away. Like, these were lit up before uh, the, the red scary faces. So, I'm assuming uh, I have two more to go. And, and and since the other one's not really here, I'm assuming he's, he's the boss ghost. The only other ghosts have to take orders from. That's fucking concerning. I'm not a fan of that. It's like nice. Wait, I can just leave? Fuck this, I'm out. Uh, it's probably not going to be good. No, no, I, I thought I could fool it, but I can't. God, I know I'm going to just have to go back to that misty uh, intersection, because all those look exactly the same. I'm not going to mess around with that. You know, this might actually be a clue. Sort of, like there's one statue... That's pointing to the left, one that's pointing up, one that's pointing to the right. But I don't know if they're any in any type of order. And I have no clue. All right, let's let's try. You know, right. Uh, I don't even know what this one is supposed to be pointing towards. I can't even tell. Looks like it's kind of pointing up, but right up, left up. Let's try it. No, oh, there's something. Ah, oh, fuck! All right. Oh. Yeah. Please be dead. Yes. Okay. So that might be all the three ma demons major that I've annihilated. I've been freed. No more overbearing father turned violent alcoholic. Jeez. No more hiding my bruises and cuts. No more pills and needles. No more getting laughed at and kicked around. They'll never laugh at me again. By day, my body withers away, but by night, my mind explores forbidden worlds of power and knowledge. D&D &D is a wonderful thing. Guided by beings of pure darkness, I have been trusted with secret knowledge of the demon seal. I have learned the correct conjuring sign, drawing the inverted star... <laughs> Along the rocks arranged in, in five. First at the top left point and then down. First at the top left point, then down. I will lure them into the woods. Then I will show them my power. Okay, cool, I guess. Let's go down here. So let's see if that demon guy is still there or not. I'm assuming he will not be. That's different. I know it's really basic to say, but... It's the first thing your mind reacts to. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Now I must fight the demon within myself. Oh! 
Oh no. Oh god, I gotta go. Am I actually hurt? Damn. Let's go to that key though. And that guy's different now. Uh, will I make it? Oh Jesus. All right, I'm not bleeding anymore, so th there's that. Uh, I'm just showing this at anything. Anyone, are you intimidated by this? Now, there's a lot of crosses all over the place, so I don't even know why half these demons are taking damage to it. Oh, jeez. Anything here? No. Oh! Treebeard? Why? Okay. I'll fight you, tree beard. You're slow. Oh god. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is awesome. Like, I don't know. I think maybe I have to like not touch the one that's like a death tree, or maybe this is just nothing. Maybe this is just to mess with me. It's to mess with me. What was that little purple boy? God, it's the house. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. Uh, Ann Coulter? Confess thy sins. Ah, I know. I said I wasn't going to buy that donut, and then I did. Ah. Uh, day one of our paranormal investigation into the old Snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. We are the Midnight Society. On our way in, in we asked some of the locals uh, about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that that's not a great sounding game uh, that we hadn't heard of yet. Apparently has to do with summoning the spirit of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. Jesus, there was even an old rhyme they told us. I'm sure this rhyme will be fantastic. Walk the church from noon to noon from room to room, and maybe uh, you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're gonna try that game tonight as soon as we get settled in. You want to hear some heavy ass rhymes that penetrate deep in your eardrums? This is gonna be rough. What? What was that? Why that happened? Oh god. Ah! Okay. I have no idea what that was. Don't like this music. Do not enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, spindly lady. Yeah, that did go differently. Where the hell did the monster- uh. Oh, that's a power cross! I hope. Oh no. Okay, thank you, power cross. Oh, oh. Okay. Can I add these to my arsenal? Uh... Okay. No! Now it's scaring me, the power cross. Oh, this sucks. This sucks bigly large. God, I was so nervous when I had to do my godfather, my godfather, <laughs> my goddaughter's confirmation. I was so sure I was going to tip over the holy water and let loose a bunch of demons and shit. Uh, yeah, that looks great. I'm down for that. Uh, night two, we're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff off the ass before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things that we did ourselves to fool the, fool everybody. Tonight, while we were uh, trying the spindly lady game again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself. As soon as Lars, oh geez, Lars is doing this, walked into the room. It was nuts, and we've got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you guys are totally alive. Not a fan of this church. Imagine if you had Sunday school here. What is that? A computer? Stop all the downloading. Stop skeletons from fighting! Oh. 
Yeah. There goes Derek. Night three, you shouldn't have come back here. Tape's missing. Lars uh, stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Great. I like, I like the sound of that. So there's a space confessional. I can say that, like, you know, Catherine and I are not working out. Uh. Oh, this is going to be bad for Matthew. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. But I'm a priest. I guess priests have to confess to something. From evil, but my fierce over can be. I turned my back on the ministry. And like the Undertaker's ministry? A year later, the ministry the joined with the corporation. But in the end, I could save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me that my best sins. Most said will. Here is my penance. He's alright. For his mercy and yours forever. But you know that that's fake, dude, because you're in like a fake mind prison church. Okay. Right, and it's, oh, that's, yeah. Night one, we still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confessional booth leading to this hallway. Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. We'll see if we, do you actually buy a crowbar? I thought they always just lie around. We'll see if we can't get these boards off of some of these doors, but that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear on the tape very well, but to us, it kind of sounded like the la laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. Yeah, the Yeti. What mic would they have back here? I don't even know what year this takes place. I assume like the 70s. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll receive it on, uh, we'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into town. Great. I don't have a crowbar though. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they've built a cross so big that even Jesus could not lift it. I thought I got rid of that scully skull. Fuck you. Uh, doesn't work. Ah! Spindly lady! Okay, gotta get out of her way. And do some damage when I can't fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, shit! Mortis! Mortis. Oh, that's about all I can take for, for Faith Chapter 2. I oh, This little thing, you know, it's very, very indie. It's made by, like, one person, I think? Uh... And I'll leave a link for the itch.io um, uh, you know, page for this. Uh, and you people can, like, uh, you know, check it out for yourselves. There's multiple endings to this. Uh, Faith is a really, really interesting take on horror games. Like, I, I said it before, I'll say it again. It does so much with so little. And and I'm really glad they exist. And God, they, they can be scary. It's a lot of loud sounds, to be fair. But it does create a, you know, sense of dread. Proving that, like, you don't need Unreal Engine 4 all the time to make something scary. But that'll do it for tonight's Matt's Nightmares. And I'll see you again very, very soon.